Soon PSU banks are in focus. We are in the midst of the earnings season and the biggest casualty in Q4 so far has been PSU banks. According to Economic Times report, the combined losses posted by 9 out of the 11 PSU banks have wiped out uh, over half of the thousand, thousands of crores uh, that government had set aside. Sangeeta Mehta of Economic Times now joins us with that report. Sangeeta, first, what is the outlook on the banking sector in the coming quarters? Uh, the coming quarter looks uh, doesn't look so good, uh, Nikunj. It appears that banks may uh, continue to bleed at least for the next couple of quarters because a lot of NCIT cases which we thought would get uh, uh, concluded have been postponed to June and it looks like it could go on till September. So the next two quarters there could be some more losses because banks have not fully provided for all the uh, uh, all the stressed assets. Uh, so could the losses could not be as high as this, but there would be losses at least half of this. So uh, this so far it's been 40,000 for a handful of banks. It could be 20,000 crores uh, is what the analysts tell us. Uh, this is uh, Nantara joining in from the New Delhi studio. You know, I think Punjab National Bank, Dana Bank, a whole bunch of banks have come out which have disappointed the streets. Uh, clearly, the RBI is also taking note of it. The question is that uh, how seriously is the Department of Financial Services looking at all of this? Yes, we know what has been budgeted for this, uh, you know, for uh, recapitalization. Uh, any rethink on that at all? And there are, from what I have understood, speaking to uh, uh, ministry officials, uh, they have written to banks uh, as, uh, I, I guess, early today morning or last night, saying that uh, we will not be in a position to capitalize you anymore. Please look at recovery and do not, uh, you know, do not even look at lending uh, to uh, corporates or any high ticket, uh, this thing. And we want a weekly report uh, on the performance uh, um, in terms of recovery done by banks. They have also asked banks how much assets they have sold, how much assets they are uh, looking at resolution. And uh, all these um, nine, uh, 11 banks which are facing prompt corrective action, they've been asked to meet, uh, make a presentation to finance ministry because uh, government uh, does not appear to, uh, to be, um, uh, uh, you know, in any mood to infuse capital, at least not in the immediate future. And if these banks continue to show losses, they will see, uh, you'll see huge erosion in capital. And uh, Indian banks have always followed uh, being compliant to Basel III norms. Now, this would be the first time where it looks like Indian banks are likely to not adhere to those norms if, uh, you know, if the recovery is not good or if the government does not infuse capital because uh, the other source of uh, raising capital is um, profits, but profits don't seem to be happening. I mean, they don't seem to be showing uh, even decent numbers uh, uh, from whatever we speak to analysts, uh, whatever we gather from them. Yeah, I think that's also being reflected in the earnings at the moment. Uh, Sangeeta, always a pleasure chatting with you. Thank you so much for joining us.